Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to Sneaker Stories. As always, I'm your host, Chris Jack. Today, checking out something a little different, a package that I received just before lockdown started here uh, in Cape Town, South Africa. I've been spending a lot of time in this room, basically going through my kicks, reorganizing my kicks, redisplaying things and doing what I can to try and kill time. But one thing it's identified for me is there are definitely a whole bunch of shoes which I just haven't been wearing a lot. And maybe this happens with you guys as well when you just kind of neglect a couple of pairs or whatever, you get a bit tired, you get a bit bored of them or some reason like that. And then probably you want to look at selling them or something like that. And I've definitely been guilty of that. I was actually just scrolling through like endless photos uh, on my phone of some of the shoes I used to have and looking at the full collection video I did at the end of 2018 on IGTV. And I was like, damn, why did I let those go? And I think the main reason that happened when you have a lot of shoes you just like oh, I haven't worn that for a long time it hasn't like caught my eye it hasn't really you know it's not as exciting as these other ones that I got going on right now and that kind of thing and that really made me sad <laughs> so during this lockdown I've been doing a whole bunch of different videos one of which was cleaning kicks and I figured that just giving your kicks a clean can completely make you fall in love with them again when they're super fresh when they look good they don't have any marks or anything on them they go back into the top of your mind. So that's a really awesome way to do that. However, as I mentioned, just before lockdown started, I received this package from a brand new company here in South Africa called Hefted Laces, and it was filled with all different kinds of laces, etc. So I thought today was gonna to be a great opportunity to try and see what I can do with their lace offering. So a huge shout out to you guys, Hefted Laces. Thank you for sending these through. They do look amazing. I really wanna see what they're gonna look like on shoes. And as these are all 160 centimeters long, uh, they're gonna be better suited for high top shoes. So I'm gonna focus on my Jordan 1 collection, just pull out a few pairs from there uh, and see what we can do with these lace change ups. See if they can reignite a little bit of a spark in the shoe and just add a different look to them, like an upgrade. So I'm super amped to get onto that now, but just to show you their product, I guess first, just so you understand the kind of things that we're using. Uh, they've got three different products at the moment. These ones over here are the wax laces. Uh, you can see a whole bunch of different colorings that they've got there. And then they've also got these different color aglets as well. If I'm not mistaken, these come in at 155 Rand a pack. Obviously, that's for both laces. I mean, that's a given, right? You know that, right? And when it comes to waxy laces, I really feel like they just add a little bit of a premium look to the shoe. In fact, you know, like I don't really change my laces too much on shoes, if I'm very, very honest. I've only started doing this quite recently as December last year. The first pair I did that with was the Eddie Huang Ultra Boost. Uh, these actually came with red laces in them. However, they did provide you with this pink set here as well. And because there was pink in the prime then, I really felt like these laces just brought out the color of that. So this got me really excited to try some other variations with other laces that I have. And obviously now with these hefted ones, and then with the waxy lace offering, these mint green variations were actually sent to me from a friend in Johannesburg, Smith and Daniel, shout out, very, very good shoe photographer if you're ever looking for one. But these really just accentuated the green coloring in this sort of mud guard and tongue and heel section of this particular shoe. And they just, they just take it like, that much further and especially if you've got kicks like Jordan ones that I'm going to be looking at today where a lot of people have the same colorways how do you like stand out like is that important to you I don't know for me it definitely is so I want to see what I can do here with these but just before I get into actually testing these out on some of my ones these are just the eco leather option that they have as well they're 175 rand a pack uh, so it's a faux leather it's not actually genuine leather so if you are a little bit more inclined to rather go with the faux options uh, these are then definitely for you and then last but not least their premium offering uh, these are genuine sheepskin leather. You can really feel the difference between the faux leather and the genuine ones. These are a lot thicker in hand and just feel like really, really good and obviously look good. So I've just got white and black ones here with gold and silver aglets as well. But as mentioned, as these are the premium offering, they are gonna set you back a little bit more at 265 rand per pack. All right, so the first shoe I'm gonna try this on is the Travis Scott Jordan 1. Um, I feel like these are really awesome just as they are just with the black laces as well. However, I am seeing that we've got these navy wax laces over here as well. Uh, so I really wanna give this a little go just because I think the dark navy uh, will really, really work well with the brown coloring of the rest of the shoe. So first things first, just gonna take them out of the box. Ooh, damn, these are really nice. It's actually the first time I'm Mm. And now the fun part of unlacing these, just gonna speed this one up quickly. 
Okay, so we've got the laces, the original ones out, at least this black pair that they came with. And now that we've got them both out, I'm just gonna show you the different lengths. So the Jordan 1 lace, uh, especially with the Travis Scott one over here, is a little bit longer. It's probably around like, 15 to 20 centimeters or longer maybe it's 180 centimeters that as the standard so these are slightly shorter the ones that i'm putting in here but that could actually be quite cool because i always find i've got a bit of extra length uh, when it comes to laces on these jordan ones and i'm really feeling at the moment that this navy blue is going to look really cool it picks up the accents of the red on the tongue as well and then obviously the balance between the black and the brown suede on the shoe as well so let me lace them up and check them out all right so there we have it the first pair is done i think they look absolutely awesome it's completely different to what you'd normally see with this particular pair but it's still so premium the waxy laces really give that a premium look to them the color the navy just really works well with these dark browns so this is an absolute winner there's just side by side just to show you just change the whole look of the shoe up which is really awesome let me know what you guys think of that in the comments below uh, these ones as i mentioned i've used the 160 wax laces from hefted laces uh, which are 155 grand so that is a proper win i'm going to leave these ones over here and let's see what else we can do with the next pair all right so next up i'm going to do the la to chicago these also just came with standard black flat laces here uh, i'm going to do the same thing we can check out uh, the left and right again afterwards so let me just quickly take these out okay so now that those are out of the way i've got a pretty cool option uh, there was one pair that i actually just really thought matched the colors really well and that is their brown and black aglet pair also 160 centimeter of wax laces here it just really matches up with that sort of goldy lakers color that you're getting on here so i'm thinking maybe giving these a go uh, i guess nothing to lose here so might as well let's do it All right, so there is the second pair. Uh, I think that just, it's blown me away that the color match on this is so good with that Goldie Lakers colors that you get with the shoe. I mean, side by side, I know which one I'm going for. That is 100%. I lace these ones just an eyelid lower. I know some of you guys like to do that, so I'm gonna try and keep the lacing a little bit different between the two, but let me know in the comments. I mean, come on, <laughs> that's amazing. All right, so this one, I have to obviously do the Off-White Chicago Jordans. Uh, this one, I don't know, like I think they do look very, very good with just black laces in them and obviously being the Off-White laces, which by the way, this stuff just flakes off after a while. So it can start looking a little bit tatty if it does bother you. Uh, then you're definitely going to want to look at doing a bit of a lace swap on them. Uh, but while I'm taking this out, I am going to probably use the black premium sheepskin laces that they've got. Just because they are like a little bit thicker and I think being the most premium. And this is probably the most expensive pair of Jordan ones that I have uh, in my collection. I think I'm going to go with those ones. All right, so the laces are out of the Off-White Chicago Jordan. Uh, as mentioned, I want to do something with the premium ones. I'm just trying to work out if I'm going to go with the silver aglets or the gold aglets from these. Uh, both of them are black. I could just do the black or I could change it up with a white offering as well. Or if we really wanted to, we could throw in the red, which I think would obviously look pretty cool just because it will bring through its tonal colors. But considering I've done two sets of wax laces already, I'm going to go with these gold and black premium laces over here. Uh, ooh, they feel really, really good. So soft. Yeah. Uh, but I think these are going to look really cool just with that touch of the gold aglet on the end of them. Uh, just get them out. Uh, let's have a look what one of these does. All right, so just want to stop and mention one thing here quickly with genuine leather laces. These are incredibly soft and smooth. They are so nice to touch. They pull really nicely through the eyelets over here because it's so smooth, whereas the waxy laces can be a little bit tougher, but you just got to work them through. But what I really want to mention here is with leather laces and the eco leather laces and the premium ones over here, they do have a seam line along the back. So you want to make sure when you are lacing the shoes up, you make them show on the correct side of the laces, just to give it an extra clean look. Well, there we have it. And these are absolutely incredible. The quality of these genuine sheepskin premium laces, I, I mean, just looks really, really good. I love how the coloration here matches up with the swoosh on the shoe. 
you know, I'm not taking too much away uh, from what they were originally, kind of like downscaling the hype a little bit with not having the shoelaces on there, but adding this premium uh, nature to it with these gold aglets. And one thing I haven't mentioned about these aglets yet is they are laser engraved over here with the H from the hefted logo. It looks really, really nice and premium on there. Uh, but there you can just see simple upgrade. It kind of like makes them just the whole shoe feel a little bit more exclusive to me. You know, for me doing something like this to a pair of Jordan ones really shows that you just like, you care a little bit more. You're not just like slapping them on. I'm not, I'm not saying they don't look good. Like as they are, obviously they look damn amazing. But you're walking down the street the next drop and you've got these other laces in, or is it like, okay, I see. I don't know, maybe that's just me. All right, so next up, the Obsidians. Now, these are one of my favorite Jordan ones at the moment, and I just love how beautiful these look. Now, I really wanna see what I can do with a pair of laces and just changing the color up on this. I'm thinking like, maybe the gray, I've still got blue, we've got red as well. Uh, these could do quite well in either of these circumstances. I think like the gray ones could be pretty good. Uh, all the red ones actually. I'm actually gonna go with the red, get a bit of an American vibe going out of these. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. And maybe what we'll do is just do the blue on the other shoe as well. So we've got two sets that we're gonna do with these. Okay, so I've decided I am going to do one shoe red, one shoe blue. I just want to see what it's going to look like. I'm not holding my breath because the obsidians just look so good just as they are with the obsidian lace color in them. And as I mentioned, it's definitely one of my favorites, but you never know. So we're going to give that a go first with the red uh, and then with the blue. I'll catch you when they're done. All right, so the red side is done so far. This actually looks pretty cool again. Uh, it's just really nice to see like a different look on it. Maybe it's just because it's super fresh and whatever, uh, but it's kind of got that top three look to it as well. So that's really cool. Let's see what the blue ones do. Well, there we have the blue version and that absolutely bangs. Both of them together. Uh, so you can obviously do little lace change ups as well, color change ups between shoes if you do like that mismatch look. I mean, I'm, I'm very, very, very impressed. I mean, honestly, I just want to keep on going. So there's this gray color that they've got in the wax laces and gray is like one of my favorite colors. And I know we've really done like four pairs of Jordan ones so far, but I can't stop. So I'm going to do one more just so I can see what this gray pair looks like. I'm going to use the unions as well. So I know like unions, these laces are probably the best laces you'll find in a Jordan one just because of the split tone color with the black at the top and whatever. And they probably would never f with them like that. But you know, I don't know. Maybe, let's check it out. Okay, so I'm gonna put these gray ones in now and really just see like what that does. They kind of have a bit of a greeny tinge to them as well. Like, you never know. I'm having fun, so let's keep going. All right, so there are the unions. It's quite a different combination. I don't know if I'm feeling it, to be honest. Uh, but it really just shows you that you can play around with a whole bunch of different color combinations from what they have. The laces themselves look really good. Uh, across all of these ones actually. Uh, I think with the gray pair, like if you do have a pair of Jordan 1 shadows or something like that, the gray is probably more matched up for something like that, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe it'll grow me. But as I mentioned, there's a whole bunch of other options. You can obviously just throw in a pair of black or ones with gold aglets or whatever. That probably would have actually worked a little bit nicer here with this pair, uh, just to pick up the rest of the gold thread detailing and highlighting on this particular pair. Well, there we have it guys. There's five pairs of Jordan ones, which I've changed just by switching up the laces. So huge shout out to Hefted Laces for sending these all through. I actually did reach out to them before shooting this video just to ask if there was any way we could get a little discount code going for our Sneaker Stories followers. So please hit the link in the description below if you wanna buy any of these for 50% off your order online. They are shipping currently. They're allowed to ship again now during this lockdown period. So you will be getting your laces rather quickly uh, once their backlog is sort of cleared off from uh, lockdown orders and stuff like that. But definitely make sure to check their website out and stay tuned to their socials right here as well uh, because they did say they are gonna get a whole bunch of new products, different length sizes and things like that and variants all that kind of stuff so make sure you're following them and make sure you use that link in the description below for 15 percent off your order but that's it from me guys please don't forget to subscribe right here for further content and other reviews coming back soon we can get shoes again catch you on the next one